So this is the soft selection and extrusion tool. Um, this is a handy tool just by hitting B you can kind of soft, uh, softly move um, tools. I'll show you what I mean. So we just start with a polyplane and we we'll just add some subdivisions. So it's just essentially like adding a whole lot of edge loops um, to create a whole lot of faces. Now, uh, if we were to select a face like this and just bring it up like so, you can see it's quite, um, quite faceted. Um, it's not particularly, you know, uh, there's nothing in nature that would look like that, you'd say. It's quite sharp and um, you know, probably not so useful for the stuff that we're doing. However, if we make another one, so roughly the same size, um, just a smidge above the grid, and add the subdivisions again. What you find is just by hitting the B key, um, we select and we move. Um, and you can see that it's giving these soft undulations. So, um, yeah, whether it's like a mountainside, like a landscape or whatever the case might be, you can see it's smoothing it out there. Um, and just note that that doesn't actually have the smooth um, a smooth selected. Um, we'll, so, we'll smooth it out later on. So as you can see, just to reiterate, hard selection versus soft selection. Um, and you can see it's apples and oranges on the left and on the right. Just put a wireframe on shader, just throw that up there, just so it uh, makes the point more apparent. Um, you can see on the right it's quite faceted, and on the left it's quite smooth. Um, we'll uh, extrude some spots just to, just to show you that even with the B selection you hit extrude, nothing out of the ordinary happens, it's still exactly the same. Um, and they're popping up like that. And hitting um, again exactly the same as if it was on the um, smooth side. Just a little note though is that with the smooth side, you can see the um, extrusion of uh, those blocks uh, are coming at different angles, and on the right, they're all directly vertical. And you can see smoothed that um, whilst there's a bit of smoothness on the right, the left, it's uh, a lot more undulating, a lot more like you'd see in nature. Anyway, I just thought I'd point that out. The smooth selection tool, um, I might ask you to use it in class. Um, just know it's there. It's another skill set that you can add uh, to your Maya skills. And uh, uh, yes, never forget always uh, label your objects in Outliner um, and yeah, keep up the good work.